Hello Windows Spurs, today we're going to talk about Windows XP that exists today, 18 years. That's why I'm making a Windows XP video. I'm going to give you some information about Windows XP and then I'm going to test it. So let's see after the intro. Windows XP was released on October 25, 2001 and released for manufacturing on August 24, 2001. The developer of Windows XP is, of course, Microsoft. Windows XP is an operating system for the personal computer, but I heard also the mobile PC. Yeah, that's an other device, but okay. Windows XP is a part of the NT family, so Windows... Windows NT 4. It's not a server, but for customers and business. Uh, the development began at the late 90s, and then it was called as code name Neptune, Windows Neptune. It was especially for, yeah, especially for mainstream consumers. So. Uh, there was also an updated project of Windows 2000. Both of them failed. Later, they made they made a new project about. Windows Whistler, and that is the code name of the officially Windows XP. This uh, operating system is the first operating system that is not based on MS DOS or something. So no comments, no, no comments of MS DOS are in the operating system anymore. After the release of Windows XP, they received a critical claim about the performance and the stability. But never mind. Uh, there were a lot of updates that were better than Windows Millennium Edition or Windows 2000. Like, uh, there's a new interface, like, it's a little bit playful interface, but also it looks like, yeah, it looks professional. More professional than, and more styleful than Windows 2000, the classic, classic themes of Windows. Improved hardware and support, you know, in the time there was uh, new hardware like USB, CD, DVD, all that stuff. There were more support for so you can, uh, yeah, put your CD in the computer and yeah, it goes more easy than the previous operating systems. And multimedia capabilities, so more about of more applications. You know, Windows XP was really popular and it became. I think the most popular after Windows 10, I think, the most popular uh, operating system. Yeah, the support uh, was really long. The support stopped at April 8, 2014. That means that it's five years ago that Windows XP was officially stopped with support. There were too much uh, users on Windows XP. Yeah, there weren't a lot of new operating systems like Windows. Windows 7, Windows 8 at the time. I have some statics here. Of all computers that run on run on any Windows operating system, approximately 1% is is uh, a Windows XP user. That's a lot because there are so many computer computer uh, users at the world. You know, it's a funny fact. In Armenia, 40% of the people there who runs a Windows computer, 40% of them runs still runs Windows XP, so they haven't got that update or I don't know. Uh, in China it's also with 5% uh, a lot of Windows XP users. Uh, the interface is also changed um, comparable with Windows Me. Uh, you have more effects in the, in, the, in the interface like shadow and yeah, more color. Um, there are new system icons, yeah, more, more, with more effects. And the background of the, of the Windows XP computer, what you also, what you always see when you have Windows XP, that is taken at the landscape, Nepe Valley, in California. I don't know how to pronounce that, but by the way, that there, there is a photo taken. Okay, the start menu, yeah, you have a new kind of start menu, uh, like uh, two columns of layout, so the 
first column is like uh, the more uh, you can pin their applications that you have used a lot or what are your favorite applications and you have their uh, tab like all programs and there you can see yeah all the all the applications that you have on your computer and uh, the other column is just for settings and yeah it's just shortcuts to files the taskbar is you have the start menu where the windows logo is there and uh, you have a bit shortcuts yeah, and you see uh, on the long side, you see uh, programs that you have opened already. Collect them in a tab. Uh, and the right side, you see time and some pop-up menu. There is more network and internet functionality. Like, uh, there are more programs of applications bundled with Windows XP like Internet Explorer 6, Outlook Express 6, Windows Messenger, that was popular at the time and firewall what uh, protects you from viruses on your computer there's more support for printers uh, you have a free service packs the first uh, service pack is uh, released on 9 september 2002 it have more usb2 support so more hardware support uh, service pack 2 are uh, it's released on 25 august 2004 this have a little bit updates like what Windows Longhorn have and a uh, server pack 3 is released on May 6, 2008 and it have an independent system compatibility settings and here are some system requirements when you want to have Windows XP you will need a memory of uh, 64 megabyte and your hard drive uh, needs an amount of one and a half gigabyte the display is 800 times 600 so not HD and the input you have need is keyboard and mouse and now we're gonna go we're going to the computer and let's find out how Windows XP is nowadays now I'm gonna test Windows XP run on it just like uh, run some devices and programs uh, I have already installed it because yeah that's a long and boring part of the Windows XP. I'm gonna log in with Windows. Okay. And now you're here. That's the sound where I'm happy from. Now, as you can see, you see the background. Oh, a pop up. Take a tour of Windows XP. Now, I don't want that. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna run some programs. Okay, you have the Internet Explorer. Uh, at that time, was Google Chrome not that popular? Okay, let's start with Internet Explorer. I don't have internet connection to close with Internet Explorer because I don't have internet connection. The same with email, it has some uh, possibility to log in. You want to write a new mail with subject and you can type it in. Okay, the next one, Windows Media Player. I don't think that I have sound on this, but I hope there are some test files in the system. I think there must be a song in the in the program, but I don't have songs on this computer. Virtual computer. Do this one. I burned a CD when I was little. I played on the, on the radio or something on the on the CD player. Oh, you can also choose your skin. Not so many, but I think you can download on the Microsoft Sound site. Uh, at that time, Windows Messenger was really popular. It was a uh, kind of social media that you used when uh, you was little. I think six years ago they stopped it because the popularity was less. Don't think I can use this program because it the support stopped six years ago. This is a tour in Windows XP I think. Welcome to oh. Windows XP from Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC Windows to XP. life. Now I understand why it's on the road so and around popular. the world. Read emails. So cool. Share files. Photo. Okay, I'm gonna close it because it's really annoying. Okay, now I'm gonna open some games and paint and or something like that. So you choose a color and you can make a square. The flag of Japan or something like that. Because uh, you can make a cool background with it. I learned it from family of me and you can screw 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 like it's broken and save it now and I'm gonna put this as background yeah it's really strange but 
Yeah, that was me that, that time. Preview. Yeah, I know that uh, one. It's just an animation or something like that. Not so special, but I think nowadays we don't have screensavers, I think. Oh, I used to change the colors of this. Silver. Silver is the best, I think. I know on my father's computer, I adjust it every time on a new interface, like a gray one. We're going to the gate, that's more special. And I didn't play it at the time. A oh. lot of sounds. Oh, how did you do this? Oh, so. Okay, I don't understand this game. It's a classic game. And this game over when you, uh, when you click on the mine. And for the rest, only card games. I don't know. Uh, for the rest, I think nothing special on this. Maybe some settings. Profile picture. It's just like the, the most average photos you see. Like a duck or a frog or a fish. Oh, I knew this one. Oh, this is really strange. Okay, that's... These are the most strange colors combination. And here are some sounds. Yeah, you know this sound. This is not a good sound, by the way. No XP. For the rest, Windows Movie Maker. Used to uh, make videos with it. When I was like 8 or something. Uh, threw some paint pictures in it and make a video. It was not so special. So you can open some medium files, oh, import pictures. So let's show it. And then you go to the other. Oh, you see nothing because it's the same picture. Now, I think this was a uh, tour of Windows XP in 2019. It's really nostalgic because, yeah. Okay, we're gonna turn it off and you hear. So, and this was the video of a tour of Windows XP. Oh, I also had a Windows XP computer uh, a few years ago and I filmed it, so here is a shot. Thank you for watching and I hope you see you later at the next video, the next 15 minutes. Bye.